Hello, welcome to our presentation. My name is Rika and I will be presenting to you our research on an application of event cameras on low latency, high bandwidth control on a drone platform. The robotics community continues to face challenges with high-speed vision-based control. Here we show a snippet of the 2016 Drone Racing League Championship, where human pilots fly quadrotors at high speeds through a complex race course. Autonomous drones are unable to match this performance. Fast aggressive maneuvers require fast perception pipelines, yet traditional frame-based cameras have limited frame rate and suffer from motion blur. On mobile robots such as drones, limited power availability adds to the challenge. The recent development of a novel vision sensor known as the event camera may offer a solution to low power, low latency vision driven control. In this work, we take a first step towards implementing low latency, high bandwidth control of quadrotors using an event camera in a one dimensional attitude tracking problem on a dual copter platform. Event cameras are bio-inspired vision sensors that respond to changes in the scene. Unlike standard cameras that output images as frames, event cameras output data asynchronously and therefore have lower latency and do not experience motion blur. And so they are a perfect candidate for high-speed applications. They also have high dynamic range and operate at lower power, making them suitable for use on mobile platforms such as drones. In order to explore the high-speed applications of the event camera on a drone, we developed an experimental platform that consists of a dual copter attached to a rod by a ball bearing and a black and white reference disc. The task is to have the dual copter track the reference pattern by aligning its arms parallel to the line marking the border of the black and white halves of the disc. The dual copter is equipped with an event camera, an upboard computer, and flight controller. A rotary encoder is mounted on the dual copter and the disc to track the attitudes for ground truth measurements in order to evaluate the controller performance. We now turn to the state estimation and control pipeline. The 80 most recent events from the event camera are processed via the house transform line detector to obtain a measurement of the relative angle between the line on the reference disc and the dual copter arms. The angle measurement is then passed to a Kalman filter, which estimates the angular position and velocity of the dual copter relative to the disc. The state estimate is fed into a proportional derivative controller, which calculates motor commands to minimize the relative angle. These motor commands are also fed back into the Kalman filter as inputs to the state space model for improved state estimation. We will now explain the house transform line detector in greater detail. The line detector tracks the 80 most recent events capped at 3 milliseconds and updated every 1 millisecond. Limiting the number of events to 80 events caps the maximum events processed at a time, while the 3 millisecond window ensures that the line detector does not use events that are too old, especially under slower motion where the event update rates are lower. A line is fitted through the events tract using the traditional house transform algorithm parameterized by polar coordinates. We then obtain the angle with respect to the horizontal, which is parallel to the dual copter arms. So this angle represents the measured roll angle of the dual copter relative to the line across the reference disk. The final event-based state estimator performs with an update rate of 1 kHz and a delay of 12 milliseconds from event acquisition to line detection and filtering. The state estimator is able to measure relative angular velocities of up to 1600 degrees per second, showing potential for the event camera to be used for closed loop control on quad rotors. At the same time, for our specific application, we see that the dual copter is unable to track these high angular accelerations. We are reaching the physical limits of our system. The actuators must be upgraded and the system latency reduced if we want to improve the performance of the controller any further. So once again, in order to improve the performance of the dual copter, upgrading the actuators is a must. Then we can consider reducing the delay by using an EDVS, where a processing unit 
is embedded together with the event camera, allowing state estimation to be done on board, after which the angular estimates can be uh, transmitted via UART instead of the slower USB transmission of events currently in place. We can also consider experimenting with event-based control, where events are used to directly encode control signals, allowing us to completely bypass the state estimation step. Finally, we hope to implement event camera-based closed-loop control on a hovering quadrotor, moving one step closer to an autonomous drone capable of fast, agile maneuvers much like the drones in the Drone Racing League controlled by professional pilots. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our presentation.